This sweet old woman, obviously a Muslim revert, was recently subjected to an aggressive debate from a Christian man. I'm Muslim, and I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe in Jesus as being God or the Lord. Firstly, who debates about religion in a store? Obviously, someone looking for content or social media clout and cares not about nuances or facts. He dressed, prepared his facts and debate points, and headed to the store to debate unsuspecting Muslims who came to shop hoping to gain one on them. There's no denying the fact that he failed here, despite being the most prepared of both parties. It's funny that he wasn't able to convincingly defend the biggest point he had in his arsenal, which is, Jesus is God. How ridiculous. Jesus says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He's the only way to the Father. That's the Bible. Islam came centuries later. There was no Christianity, no Judaism, no anything. When Abraham, may Allah be pleased with him, when he came here. What he believed in was one creator, one God. He was considered a Muslim. Now let's go through his point piece by piece. Firstly, he claims that Jesus is the way to the Father after the Muslim woman said she believed in Jesus, but not the idea of him being God. Why is this point important? Follow this video to the end. There, you will notice the contradiction. He also claimed Islam came centuries after Jesus. What he didn't mention is that Christianity was non-existent during the time of Jesus, and it only came half a century later, through Paul, of Tarsus, a man who never met Jesus himself. The Bible was also not written while Jesus was alive. It only came several centuries later through compiling different books. Again, this has also been heavily edited to get the current versions. And there are thousands of them. Yes, thousands. Islam, on the other hand, has been around since the time of the Prophet Adam and was only completed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He then comes to the age-old question, the age of Aisha. He thought she doesn't know about that and he can gain the upper hand, but it failed. Muhammad married to a little girl. He married Aisha when she was very young. How is your sin and guilt going to be My wrong? sin and my guilt can be taken away with my repentance. And the only sin that Allah will not forgive is associating something with him. In the next part of the video, the lady handled the guy really well. May Allah bless her. How are you going to go into paradise, to heaven? I don't know if I will get to Jannah, but I know that I will only get to Jannah if I make no association with my creator, with God. It isn't a debate when you ask questions and answers them yourself, using your own prepared answers. Gladly, many of his followers saw through his aggression and figured he'd try to convince himself more than he tried to convince the other party. This led him to go in circles most of the time. In his quest to establish the superiority of his argument, he contradicted himself many times. He claimed Jesus is the way to God. Then he claimed he is the Son of God. And then he ended by saying he is God himself. Unfortunately for him, the identity of who God is is not shrouded in confusion. Neither is it debatable. He is one and only. And he is perfect in his actions. Why would he send someone to die for the sins he didn't know about? Or why would he come down to earth and die for the sins of men? You would expect every logical person to easily realize this cannot be true of the creator of the universe. May Allah bless the Muslim lady for standing her ground and knowing her religion. May Allah continue to guide her and make her steadfast in her faith.